All right, so next uh, we finished our revenue history and our revenue map. Now I'm going to click the plus sign, add another worksheet. I'm going to name this damage count. Okay, so we're going to get a, a donut or pie chart of our product delivery information, right? So damage count. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on insert again, pivot table. Again, choose source underscore data. For my range click on OK I get my pivot table fields again now what I'm going to do is take a revenue all right drag it into the values all right and then also the product condition right so whether it's damaged or new okay so I get new and damaged but this gives me revenue I want to get a number how many were damaged or how many were new right on the shipment so if you notice on the bottom right here I can change or hit this drop down under sum of revenue click on value field settings and choose count okay then click OK nice so now I get a grand total of thousand and I get damage versus new uh, right uh, total counts and the grand total thousand so what I'm going to do now is insert click on insert at the top pivot chart and I'm going to choose a pie chart and I'm going to go ahead and choose donut. Click on OK. And I got get a nice donut chart. I'm going to go ahead and click on design here. Let's choose the third one. That looks nice. I'm going to go ahead again. Right click on the chart, the buttons here. Choose hide all field buttons on the chart to so get a nice clean chart. I'm going to get rid of total here. I'll keep this legend, right? Damage versus new. And it shows me a percentage of how many products were damaged versus new. Okay. Again, uh, this is going to be an extra chart in our dashboard. So it's very informational, right? Again, we'll be able to slice and dice this uh, at the end. So that's our damage count chart based on our source data. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.